Hi there YouTubers and weavers. Well there's good news and bad news. The good news is you won't have to listen to me very much because I screwed this up royally. The bad news is I somehow managed to get my camera to not record any sound as I was doing most of my videos that I'm going to show here. So there's going to be some sound overlay that I will add at the computer while I'm editing but for the most part what you're going to hear is some music that I'm going to find from the YouTube audio library and add in just for background while I show you things. And of course this will be a little bit shorter because I'm cutting out all the sections where I was speaking. There's um, only a little bit where I talk in this video beyond this little intro. So let's get on to seeing what I've done with um, weaving the material for making a new shirt. In my last video someone left a comment asking how wide the cloth was and to give some idea of the shrinkage that we got. So here's where I was measuring to show that and um, you'll see in the tape measure that I had 39 inches in the reed and then I'm going to measure it down where the material goes across the breast beam and we'll see in just a minute or so how wide the material is at the breast beam. And there we go measuring that and I think it was about 37 inches. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pointing to it, telling you it's 37 and a quarter inches at the breast beam. So we've had one three quarter inches of draw in on this 16-2 um, cotyledon. getting close to the end of the weaving of the first four yards of this shirt material with uh, the blue stripes in it. And if you notice down near the bottom center of the screen I've got a piece of grain pinned to the cloth as I'm weaving it. That's a one yard or 36 inch long piece of grain, and I use that as my measuring facility for uh, knowing when I'm getting to the end. After I, after I get to one yard, I move it up to the next yard and start over again. But now I'm coming very close. When I, when I weave right up to the end of that, I will have finished four yards worth of material um, lengthwise in this project. And then I know it's going to be time to 
cut this off the loom. So there you see me showing you that that's what I was doing, getting close to the end of my four yards. After I finished weaving the four yards of blue and white striped material, I loosened the tension on it, and then I began to cut out all of the blue threads, but left all of the white threads. Um, what I want to do here is have four yards of blue and white striped material, but I want to have some leftover just plain white material. So I'm cutting out the blue threads and leaving the white, and then you're going to see in a minute that I'll go around the back and pull the blue threads out of the reed. You might wonder why I didn't cut everything off and then pull them out. Because if by mistake back here I happen to grab a thread too many, by having the white ones still in place when I pull, I'm sure that they won't pull through the heddles. So this is just protecting me from pulling a white thread out through the reed and the heddles when I don't want to. The white ones are still fully attached. See if I try and pull on one of these, I can't, I mean I could break it, but I'm not going to pull that hard. But I'm going to get all the blue ones out. Anyways, you get the idea now, I think. Hopefully. I'm back in front of the loom. I've pulled out all of the blue threads. So that's four threads per inch that were removed from this warp. So the next thing I'm going to do, and it's going to be the worst screw up I did of the whole project, is I'm going to cut this off. Unfortunately, I didn't look closely with my scissors and I cut into the good cloth itself. I'll have to just suffer with that, but um, I'll get around it. So we're going to cut the this bit of four yards off and then I'm going to completely re-slay the reed to make up for the missing four threads per inch. That'll be the next part of this project. Hi there YouTubers. Well you can see I'm back to weaving again on this with just the white. Um, it is narrower. Let's see. 31 and a quarter inches as it crosses the breast beam. 
Um, 33 and about 3 eighths in the reed. Whoops. And that thing got caught. Okay. So, let's move you up just a little bit more. Okay. So, you probably really noticed that there was no sound at the beginning. This is a retake even. Um, but I can't retake the cutting off of the previous piece. So that one you're just seeing without sound. I'm making progress. I'm almost done with this. There's a only a little bit of warp left on the back end for me to weave. But I want to end this video now. Um, put it up even with all its flaws uh, from lack of sound and from cutting in the wrong place. I'm still mad at myself about that. Um, and I'll try and put together a third video on making this shirt when I get this off, find out what the shrinkage is, and um, my wife Judy will do the sewing. So hopefully you'll see a shirt in a few weeks. Hopefully I'll see a shirt in a few weeks. Anyways, that's it for this. If you like my videos, I'd appreciate you subscribing. Um, if you're already a subscriber, thanks a million for being there for me. And we'll catch you the next time around on YouTube. Bye-bye.